Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to tell you why I think having fun in photography is the most important thing. Let's get into it. I think it's a pretty much universal thing that we all take up photography because we think it'll be fun. We may end up with loftier goals, like earning our living with our cameras, or changing the world with our images, but I wouldn't mind betting that all of our earliest experiences with photography were just to have fun. As a kid, I photographed anything that caught my eye, unaware of what I should be photographing, taking delight in the click and the feeling of excitement at what might be on the film when I got the prints back. The trouble with growing up is that our perception gets clouded by what we think we should think or what we are told we should think. We as photographers can be quite a judgmental bunch. I mean, I've been guilty of that in myself in the past. If someone doesn't use this or that camera or format, doesn't follow this or that compositional rule, then they're not one of our gang. If their images aren't full of powerful social commentary or feature stunning landscapes with almost impossibly beautiful light, then they aren't serious photographers. I think photography is a broad enough pastime to hold all sorts of levels of involvement and all sorts of approaches. It's okay to collect cameras, really. It's okay to delight in mixing your own developer from raw chemicals if that's your fun place. It's okay to be a hardened street photographer pounding the city byways in search of that perfect moment. It's all okay. If it's fun, it's what we signed up for. The issue I see is when we start beating ourselves up with doubt about our images rather than having fun learning to make better ones. I was mentally beating myself up the other day because I hadn't shot any large format this winter. My 5x4 and 5x7 cameras have been shelf candy for months. The reason for this? I don't like standing around too long in cold weather. When spring arrives, the large format film will come out of the freezer and I can have fun with it. I realised I was letting the fun slip, so I was easy on myself. I have medium format and 35mm cameras, and yes, my digital ones, that are faster to use than large format, so in the cold, I use them. What I'm trying to say here is that while persistence and practice are important in the craft of photography, so's fun. Fun is the payoff for the hard work. But if it's all hard work and no payoff, then you really need to examine your approach and try and find your happy place. When you're having fun, you'll make better images. I mean, I absolutely guarantee you that. So how do you find the fun if you've lost it? Well, with me, it's simplification. I grab one camera and one lens rather than a bag full and enjoy my surroundings and the joy of just being out in nature or out in the city or wherever I am. Then taking pictures will come as a natural reaction to my state of mind and I won't be pressuring myself to get that great shot. I'll be in the moment and if shots come they do and if they don't, I will have still had fun. Of course other people will find their own happy place, perhaps in the darkroom or searching a camera fair for rare old cameras and bits and bobs. Perhaps in Lightroom or Photoshop tweaking and filtering for that perfect realisation of what you saw in the original image. It may be spending out on that ultimate camera body that you've been lusting after for months. It's all fun. It's all legitimate. I'm perfectly prepared to admit I don't find trawling through menus on digital cameras much fun. But others may find it rewarding. I actually just find it frustrating, like programming a VHS recorder from back in the day. That statement, I realise, dates me. So, I have an older digital SLR camera with functions that can be accessed more easily. The main thing is that enjoying photography is what it's about. Whatever floats your photographic boat is okay. On social media, we unfortunately find plenty of people who want to tell us that having fun in our pastime can only be achieved in one way, usually theirs. You will need to buy this or that piece of kit that they recommend or use their method to gain enlightenment. 
Some beginners may feel totally overwhelmed by this and even be put off photography entirely. Yes, photography is a pastime with rules that if you follow them will give a certain predictable result. But sometimes the unpredictable is fun and breaking the rules creates art. I think this is why film has regained a foothold with photographers. You really can't tell what you're going to get until the negatives have been scanned and printed. The anticipation is the fun. So I want to encourage you to find your own paths to photographic fulfillment. And that's what this channel is ultimately about. Showing you that you don't have to spend £5,000 on a camera body, or indeed $5,000, to have fun. To show you that simple and often cheap gear can be a huge buzz to shoot because the challenges you will have to overcome. To encourage you to get your hands dirty and make and fix things where you can and if you enjoy it, but not to beat yourself up if that's not your bag. Never feel in photography that there's only one path to be followed. There are as many paths as there are photographers and providing they lead us to having a good time, well, that's great. If your smartphone is your camera of choice, that's great too. I've just started using mine for cinematic B-roll for this channel. I have a lot to learn, but I'm having a blast and I may well get an anamorphic lens for it for even more atmosphere. So I thought I'd take this opportunity, having passed a thousand subscribers, to thank all of you for telling me about your own photographic journey in the comments here and on my Patreon pages. Perhaps one of the most fun and enthralling things that I've done in my photographic career to this date has been to have this channel. So again, thank you. This brings me around to the other thing I wanted to say. There are plenty of folks on this platform who will tell you that you must run your channel this way or that. You must present in a style that isn't necessarily you in order to gain viewers or subscribers. I would say, just like in photography, there are many ways to find your fun place, many ways to exist to make a valuable contribution on YouTube. You don't have to extol folks to smash that like button or scream, what's up people at the start of a video like an overly excitable nine-year-old who's eaten too much sugar, if that's not the way you behave in real life. Be genuine. I'd also encourage anybody who fancies having a go at being a YouTuber to get on and do it. It teaches you a lot about not only the craft of media, but also about yourself. Some images there um, of people, because I probably don't put enough of my images containing people up on this channel. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, perhaps you'll hit that like button, but just do, don't smash it, okay? Like buttons cost money. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed uh, even more, then perhaps you'll think about subscribing. So, until I see you again, take care, keep taking photos and have fun. <laughs>